Hi students, how are you all? Fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting number system conversion. We are going to see octal to binary and binary to hexadecimal conversion. In previous video, we have seen how to convert a binary to octal number and how to convert an hexadecimal to a binary number. Okay. And, and today we are going to see how to convert octal to binary and binary to hexadecimal. Okay. So it is a very simple conversion, but once again, you have to remember the logic behind it. And we have already seen how to represent an octal number. Octal number can be represented by using 421 code and hexadecimal can be represented using 84214. Okay. So we'll start with octal to binary conversion. And this is the same steps. What we have to do is for any octal number, first you have to write the corresponding equivalent binary number using 4214. Okay. And then you have to combine all those things. And if there is any leading zeros, okay. And if there is any trailing zeros or leading zeros, you can remove you can remove it. Right. In binary to octal, what we have done is if there is only one bit at the end, we will add two zeros. Correct. Okay. And here what we have to do is if there is any leading zeros, we can remove that one. Okay. Just the opposite of that. Okay. So we'll see the problem. So this is the octal number. We need to find out the binary value. Okay. So I'm writing it separately with some space. One, two, five, dot six. Okay. And two. And now we're going to write the corresponding octal number by using four, two, one code. Okay, so you can see the 010, 11046, and it's 101, and it's 010, and it is 001. And you don't want to do anything with, with the decimal. You have to write the integer part first, and then the fractional part separated by the decimal. And this is how you have to write the answer. This this the corresponding binary value for this octal number is this one. Okay, the base is very very important whenever you convert any number system. Okay, and similarly this one the same steps I'm writing it separately and I'm using 421 code and writing this number 7 is triple 1 and 0 1 0 for 2 and 1 0 double 0 for 4 and it is 3 so it is 0 1 1 and for 6 it's 1 1 0. Okay, and now I'm going to write combine this integer part and then dot then fractional part so this is the answer for it so so what you have done is you are doing an equivalent value that is you are writing an equivalent octal number and then you are combining as a result okay very simple one okay and now we will see how to convert hexadecimal to binary the same steps what you have to do is only thing is you have to write in 8421 code okay there what you have written is you have written it in 4 to 1 code. That is you have write, written the equivalent binary number. Similarly, you have to write the equivalent binary number for the hexadecimal. And here also if there is any trailing or leading zeros, you can remove that. Okay. So you can see this is the problem. 8A9.B416. Okay. And you can see here B is nothing but 11. Right. So A is 10. B, C, D, E, and F. So it's from 10 to 15. Correct. So now how will you write? It's you have to write in 8421 code. Okay. So 8421 code 4, it is 0, 0, 0100. That is what written here. And for B, B is nothing but 11. Right. So what you'll write? 1, 0, 1, 1. 8, 9, 10, 11. Similarly, 9, 1, Double zero one and similarly a one zero one zero and for a it's one one triple zero and now you have to just combine the integer part dot and then the fractional part okay and again this one the same thing we are writing it separately and then I am writing the equivalent equivalent binary value equivalent binary value for fifteen everything will be one. And it is 15, everything is 1. And for this 3, it's double 1. That is 4, 2, 1. So it's 0, 0, 1, 1 in the sense. 2 plus 1, 3. Like this. Okay. And then you will write the integer part, dot, then fractional part. Okay. So the steps is very, very simple for 
octal to binary and for hexadecimal to binary. All you have to do is you have to write the equivalent binary value. If it is an octal, you can use 421 code and if it is hexadecimal, you can use 8421 code and you have to combine the integer part and the fractional part. Okay. Hope you understand the logic behind this. Thank you, students. Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, you will be useful. Subscribe, passionate professor, and keep learning. Thank you very much.